Cancer, loud and clear. You got a message coming up your person. It's going to be loud and clear with the, the, what they're trying to convey to you, what they're trying to do here. I mean, you two are going to end up meeting up. This is somebody who's a big admirer of yours. And they really miss you. And when this message comes through, you're like, wow, I did not expect to hear from this person. Um, for many of you, you didn't know this person was, was really into you like that. And I see that you two are going to come together and they're going to hit it off very well um, and have some success here. Um, now, this reading will be for all Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury of that sign. This will be a timeless reading. So whenever you watch this, it's going to be the right time for you to watch it. And we're going to get right into it. So welcome to Final Effect Tarot. I'm Brandon Leakey. I'm doing this reading for all Cancerians. And Cancer, welcome to the channel. You know, it's a pleasure having you here, back here right now. Even though we're not live like I want it to be. I tried going on live a few times, and it's been the same issue. Like, it, it's a blacked out screen on my end. So I'm on here, I'm seeing nothing but a black screen. And after I had recorded... Uh, you know, 10 or 11 seconds of this video, I went back on and I saw that you're actually able to see me on, on uh, my end of the camera. You're actually able to see me, but I'm not able to see you. So hopefully um, YouTube gets this technical issue fixed um, by Saturday when I do uh, readings for all 12 signs. But yeah, I, I tried a few times here and I, I'm not um, seeing any progress. So we're just going to get right into your reading. You know, I got, I got a message on my uh, my channel here. Um, girl came on here, uh, post she doesn't care about what someone is preaching. Basically, you know, it's basically saying, oh, it doesn't matter what you're saying on here. It's, it doesn't matter um, if you're saying something important on your channel. It does. It means nothing to me. And it's like, well, clearly you are not a public speaker. This this woman is clearly not a public speaker, doesn't want her voice to be heard, doesn't think a voice matters. Um, but evidently, we all know that if you're a public speaker or if you have a job where you need to speak to people, um, your voice matters. You know, and, 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 and being loud does matter. But I'm getting that's coming in for you here, uh, Cancer. Getting your message is going to be loud and clear. I mean, this, whatever this person is about to say, you're like, oh, wow. You know, like, that's uh, really, it's really going to hit home with you, uh, whatever they're saying. And uh, I see you two um, connecting uh, very well, reconnecting uh, for many of you uh, and, and uh, making this thing work with this person. Um, but, yeah, it's it's. I'm also getting to let your voice be heard. It's, it's very important to uh, let your voice be heard. When it comes to this person, you two have a lot of um, things that have been uh, been unsaid since you've been uh, at this time apart. But yeah, I see you overcoming a burden of a relationship. You were you were stuck, or you just weren't making any progress. You, you felt like this relationship was you ended up with somebody you didn't want to be with. This this thing ended up very boring. Like at first, you you had like a strong attraction to this person, or, or things you were hitting it off very well um, at first. And I just see that things have have not uh, progressed, or things have things have uh, steadily gotten worse. Uh, for you and this person and i see somebody popping up at your doorstep or hitting you up out of the blue um and you're like wow you know I've, this this is that type of person i really wanted to be with it's like even this this person you're about to hit it off with you're about to click and uh, i see you, you connecting on a much higher level with this person having a lot more in common i see this as being a lot more fun um and this is going to get you excited when this person goes back into your life i get you really miss this person this person really misses you um but yeah cancer uh, we're gonna get right into your reading like i said i hope you're all doing well um, congratulations to all the cancers on getting the bonus. Um, as I, you know, I was looking at a few different signs. Uh, cancer, it ended up being you because I, I loved your reading. Your reading was my favorite this week. Um, it was I was close to being Aquarius. I almost ended up choosing Aquarius, but uh, you know, I wanted to wanted to choose you, Cancer, um, especially because you had a you had a couple of good weeks after you know after having a, a tough time uh, getting views or a tough time growing on this channel. So you know, I feel like this was a time for Cancer to get the reading. I feel like it's your time. Um, Especially with all these changes going on right now, uh, there's a lot of big changes going on in relationships, and I feel like uh, you were you're one of the biggest changes on the channel that's been happening uh, right now. Uh, there's a lot of changes going on in your situation. But yeah, whatever you feel like has been missing from your relationship, I feel like your relationship has just been boring and dragging along, and you haven't really been able to um, gain any traction with this thing. Uh, for some of you, you have a financial uh, issue with the uh, connection here. You got the King of Pentacles coming on. Uh, King of Pentacles uh, represents a man on top of his game here. Um, this represents a good business deal for some of you. Uh, I get for some of you, you're going to be having some money coming in. This is going to help you have success with your relationship, and it's going to attract uh, more options for you here that, that you actually want to be around. But yeah, the, the King of Pentacles is a man on top of his game. It's something you're going to be getting your confidence back. You have some money coming in. For some of you, you're, you're gaining financial freedom for the first time. You're actually having the, the ability to uh, go travel and go go meet new people, go see new things. So, so for some of you people, for some of you, you're going to be um, meeting uh, new people on a business trip or meeting, uh, meeting someone on a business trip here. Yeah, there it is. An unexpected invitation. I told you. You got the uh, the page of uh, cups coming out here, or uh, AKA in this deck, it's the uh, the knave. You got the knave of cups, 
here. Um, so you can see the man ringing the doorbell here. But yeah, this is a represent representation of a, of a love offer coming in for you. Uh, an unexpected um, an unexpected offer, unexpected invitation. Your person is just going to come up out of nowhere here. You're like, wow, I didn't expect you to stop by. Or I didn't expect the, for you to call me up. I, I, somebody, like I said, somebody's going to come through out of nowhere here with this uh, page of cups being at the bottom of the deck or this knave of cups being at the bottom of the deck here. Um, this is someone who's a big admirer of yours. They love your ability. Um, somebody who really cherishes you. They love your creativity. And this person, whoever this is, it's like they... Uh, they're going to come, come through to reassure you that they have love for you, that they care for you. This is somebody you haven't heard from in a while. Some of you, they just see you're doing well again. You're like, wow, you're, I see you're doing, you're looking good, you're feeling good, you're making some money. Uh, and that they, they want to be a part of this, uh, for many of you. But with that page of cups... That that's more of the emotional and spiritual side of your person. It's not so much of the material where it's like, oh, you know, I, I love that you're making money now, or I love that you're on top of your shit. Um, this is somebody that just loves you for your creativity, loves you for your natural abilities. This person um, loves you for your more so your personality and your ideas than they do your um, than than what you have here um, with the material gains. When you have that page of cups coming in, that's that's a that's a that's a, a kind and caring friend uh, coming through to show you support there. Um, and a younger, typically a younger admirer is somebody that somebody really admires your ability, admires your skills. But they see you're on top of your game now. They see you're doing well. They see your creative ideas are actually bringing you success. And you have stability coming in. You have the Hierophant coming out here, a uh, representation of sign of the Taurus. So for some of you who are dealing with a Taurus or dealing with somebody that's going to allow you to have more stability in your relationship here, uh, this is somebody who is going to uh, give you uh, structure in your relationship once again. It's like if you, if you had somebody that you know uh, was inconsistent or didn't show you the love and support that you deserve, I'm seeing that this person is going to be providing that for you. They're going to be giving you a lot of love and support here, and uh, that's what you have coming in. Um the Harfont's always a great card to get in a relationship spread. It's, it's telling you that if um, you've had relationships in the past where your person has been inconsistent, um, and I get for this is for many of you now, because I said it before, that you're going through a relationship that just hasn't been, been going anywhere for you, hasn't given you what you want. For some of you, you're not getting the commitment from your person that you want, or this person is not the person you want to commit to. I'm getting if, if you want somebody that's going to be consistent and stable, um, that's what's going to be coming in for you with this person here. And you're going to have, not only are they going to give you something consistent, you're going to actually want to be in this relationship for a long term. You're not going to feel trapped or feel stuck or feel like things are uh, boring or dragging along. And I, I think that's that's kind of what you were stuck in before. But but this new commitment that's coming in, this is going to be good. This is somebody that you want to marry or somebody you want to make a deal with here. Um, that's what this has to do with uh, legal agreements as well with the, uh, the uh, hard find coming out here. Um, you, for some of you, it's like you're going to be getting married to this person. And you got the King of Swords coming out of your bottom deck. So communication is about to improve in a big way. Uh, communication with the King of Swords, he's one of the rulers of communication here. And uh, he's this is going to help you gain clarity when he's coming through here. He's going to be cutting through all that bullshit, getting right to the heart of how he feels about this uh, connection, this relationship that you two have. Um, but yeah, the King of Swords... Um, he's very analytical. So your person, they've been studying you, they've been watching your situation here uh, and, and preparing themselves to make a move on you or to come forward and say something. You saw it with the uh, the Page of Cups. This is your person uh, here that the King of Swords analyzing the situation, uh, breaking it down. Um, the King of Swords is the highest evolved version of human mind. So you're dealing with someone who's very intelligent. They see that not only do you have a, a very strong emotional connection, that you two have... Um, a lot of love for each other, but there's, there's, I, I see you're able, also able to provide for this person here. You you have stability coming in. So not, not only is there an emotional connection here, but now there's, um, now you're able to actually provide stability. That's what was missing for you before, I believe, uh, for many of you, or for what, I, what I'm seeing, because you have the, the King of Pentacles coming out first, which has to do with gaining financial stability. And it's right next to the harp on here, which has to do with, uh, you know, your, uh, stability in your relationship. So, um, that's what I'm seeing for you here, that the, your, your financial situation is going to help you gain stability with your person. 
Remind you that was the ingredient that was missing, so that's why your person is coming through for you now, making this move. And they're cutting other people out. The King of Swords is somebody who's, who's a, a ruthless king. He, he's he's going to cut out those that no longer serve a purpose in his life. So that's what I'm getting your per, your person's going to be doing. They're going to be cutting people out. They're going to be giving you more their time and attention. Communication is going to improve. Yes, it's very good. And your person, they've been uh, waiting patiently. You know, they feel like they're in a situation where they've been stuck for quite some time. You got the hangman coming out here. So your person, they feel like they've been stuck in a boring cycle. They're probably breaking out of that to come through for you here. They're like, I can't take this shit anymore. Who they're with? It's like, you know, they had to uh, fake a headache because the sex was so bad. They're like, like fucking popping, um, you know, uh, what is it, uh, Tylenol or, what, you know, the, the, the gels. They're, they're over here pretending like they're swallowing them, but they're really spitting them out. Spitting them back into their pillow, rolling over and crying themselves to sleep because the sex has been that terrible. Uh, for many of you, your person has just been in a boring situation where they're like, I need to get the fuck out of here. And they're ready for some adventure. They're ready to try something new. They're ready to break away and give you an offer of love here. Uh, for many of you, you saw that page of cups coming out or that navy of cups coming out. So a surprise offer of love coming in. Your person is going to be breaking away here from a cycle that they feel stuck in. And... Um, yeah, for many of you, your person's going to be making the sacrifice here. The uh, honey hangman also has to be making a sacrifice uh, to make a relationship work. But yeah, you're going to be manifesting this. You got the eight of wands coming out here. So uh, a lot of uh, messages are going to be coming in out of nowhere from your person here. Um, this is a card of uh, good luck coming in your uh, coming into your uh, situation here. You got luck in your uh, working in your favor here. And things are about to turn uh, very quickly. Uh, things are going to have some quick changes coming in. There's a lot of communication coming in from your person, a lot of messages out of nowhere. And for some of your person, it's just going to be coming right through. They're going to pull up to your spot, and it's like they're, they're going to be um, – excited to see you and i see you two hooking up very uh, like 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 magnets just coming together instantly when this person comes through the eight of wands has to do with the great speed and great change in a situation so i see that that's going to be happening for you there's going to be some rapid changes happening when your person comes through or when they, they're like look i gotta break the fuck out of this situation i want to come through for you i want to make this happen your person's going to be honest with you about how they feel they're like oh you know i i could i was with it i was in a situation where i, I was wasn't happy or i was I'm not treated right, and um, my person was fucking around on me, or, you know, I, 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 I wanted to fuck around on them because the sex was so boring. You know, I, I know that with the connection we have, it's a, it's a lot more hot and passionate. What we have is it's something that can work for a long term. So a person here, for many of you, they're coming through to to let you in on this and to uh, to make uh, to make a move on here. For some of you, the eight of wands has to do with sweeping you off your feet. Um, also represented by Cupid's arrows of passion. This person's trying to pierce your heart with those love arrows. Uh, trying to pierce you. Trying to get their love, trying to take their love arrow and stuff it up in you, and uh, and uh, restore this uh, relationship that you two have. But with the eight of wands, things are going to be ch uh, changing very rapidly in your favor here. Um, has a card that has to do with momentum. So uh, take advantage of this, this momentous occasion when your person comes through and starts messaging you or uh, just shows up to your place for some of you. Yeah, for many of you, for some of you, it's like your person found out you were single or found out you just got out of a relationship. You saw that uh, King of Swords there. It's like a, um, something came, a clarity came to your person. Your person uh, realized what was actually going on. Um, you got the uh, strength card coming out here. See, your person, they've been holding these desires back because they were stuck in a relationship they didn't want to be in with this hangman coming out. They've been stuck in this relationship for, for quite some time. And now it's like they're finally cutting them loose. You know, you saw that King of Swords. Like they're finally cutting off that dead weight, that boring ass, lifeless. Uh, no good relationship where the sex has just been stale and they've been fucking uh, crying themselves to sleep at night wishing it was you fucking playing with themselves fantasizing about you the whole time uh, you know for many of you that's what it's been they've been holding back these strong desires of the strength card um waiting for that moment to pounce on you they're waiting for that moment to, to actually come through for you and uh, uh unleash all these desires that they've been holding back for a long time so yeah for many of you this is this is uh, going to be a, a positive card because they've been waiting on you they've been holding back their true desires to, to give them to you instead of to whoever this disappointment of relationship or whatever this this thing is that they're stuck in right now trying to break up out of this to give this to you but yeah, the, the strength card is a card that's ruled by desire, uh, uh, great sex, passion. Uh, so for many of you, there's, there's a lot of hot, passionate sex coming in from this person. I said it before, the eight ones are coming in to sweep you off your feet, pull the moves on you. If I could take you down right there on this, uh, where it is, this, uh, this wooded path right here. 
fucking uh, slam up against one of these trees, fucking grab your thick ass eyes, fucking toss your toss your ankles over your shoulders, fucking wrap your arms around your hips, fucking full jab against that tree, fucking whip out the hard cock, fucking start smacking on your clit, fucking start stump, stumping up in you, fucking start squeezing your asses, fucking slam the cock inside you, fucking tearing your pussy up against, it, up against that tree, tearing your pussy up, fucking fucking squirting all those fucking uh, tree branches and shit, all these leaves, but uh. But yeah, for many of you, that's just going to be coming in. It's going to be a, a hot, passionate encounter because your person's been holding back these desires for a long time and stuck up in a relationship that they can't take this shit anymore. So uh, for many of you, that's what's going to be coming in. Your person's going to be getting the fuck up out of that situation that they feel stuck in and uh, giving you something stable here. You saw it with the harp on coming out. There it is. Yeah, stability, long-term uh, connection here. Um, it's also telling you to set your own structure, set your own way of, of, of leading and doing things and, and when it comes to your relationship. And others will follow you for this. Others are going to support you, and uh, they're, they're, you will be getting a lot of love here. In your traditional deck, you'll see the Pope with his uh, supporters here, um, you know, kneeling and praying before him and showing him that support. And, and that's what you're getting here. It's, 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 it signifies that you're getting a lot of support for what you stand for and what you're doing for uh, when it comes to relationships. So your person is going to be giving you a lot of support, a lot of love here um, when they come through. And uh, that's going to be very hot, very passionate, very sexy. Um, you have stability financially coming in as well. You see it here, the King of Pentacles, uh, first uh, card coming out, has to do with financial freedom, um, uh, long-term uh, financial gains, stability. Um, the uh, King of Pentacles is a man of affluence. So people are coming to you. For many of you, you got friends, family, whoever is coming to you for financial advice or for advice on a successful business because they see you uh, making a lot of money, having a lot of success um, doing what you love here. And uh, they're um, going to be coming to you for some advice. Okay. Your person here too, for some of you, it's like they, they, uh, for some of you, it's like they're a client of yours that you're going to be hooking up with. Um, uh, they're coming to you for your, you know, your business or for your, uh, whatever it is you do. Um, the page of pentacles, like I said, there's a page of, uh, cups, the knave in this deck loves your ability. Um, and you got the seven of wands you're coming out at the bottom of the deck. So it's telling you you're in the right when it comes to your person. Stand your ground. You're going to have success coming in. Um, there's a lot of good things coming for you here uh, with the seven of wands. So um, don't let anything deter you. If you've had some setbacks with this person or you've had some um, um, outside interference from, from other parties that have been talking down on you too or trying to say, you know, this is this is not the person for you. Like, look, they, they fuck around with so-and-so or this, that, and the third. You know, they're going to do the same thing to you. And I'm just kidding. That's not the case. This person got a lot of love for you. And I'm seeing somebody I'm seeing somebody who's going to be very loyal to you. Somebody Somebody's going to be very loving, whether it be um, whether it be a Taurus, you know, whether it be whether it be a Leo, whatever it's got to be. I'm seeing the relationship that you were currently uh, you were currently stuck in or being dragged through for quite some time with that hangman. You saw that there was something better here and you were you were preparing yourself for that. Um, the Seven of Wands is saying you're in the right and uh, to stand your ground. Don't worry about what anybody else has to say. Uh, they wants is going to criticize you for this. Oh, how, how dare you fucking leave this person that you didn't want to be with or, you know, that you didn't know. But for, for many relationships, it's it's a it's, it's a it's a. It's a, it's a trial, you know, it's trial and error for, for many people. You, you come together, you see if it works, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, this is a relationship that has not worked for you, uh, clearly, ca uh, Cancer. Um, you feel stuck, you, you feel bored of this shit. Um, you've been holding back your true desires because you feel stuck here, uh, or your person has, I should say. And uh, they're about to be coming through for you. You saw what that page of cups or that name of cups that can't wait anymore. That, that opportunity is going to be coming in like this. That eight of wands, like I said, coming in, coming in like wildfire. Your person's coming in hot, um, being very flirtatious. That's that's a strong, that's strong flirtatious energy coming in. Um, your person trying to sweep you off your feet or trying to pull the moves on you. Uh, but yeah, that's what's coming in. And you need to stand your ground because this is going to be a great connection that's going to last coming in. You're going to be getting a lot of love, uh, strong support coming from your partner here um, because they can't take whatever the fuck they've been dealing with. They're trying to break up out of this. They see if there's better things on the way with you. And that's what they've been waiting for. That's what they've been holding back their true desires for. But yeah, stand your ground. You're gonna have success here. There's good things coming in. Uh, definitely something to get excited about, Cancer. You know, I have to, definitely should. I'm I'm getting a little bit excited for you. Um, because yeah, you got fortunes in your favor here. You got the uh, ten of pentacles trying to fly out of here. So um, a card of go uh, good fortunes, card, it's card, uh, card of um, long term gains, long term success. That's what's coming in with this relationship as well. This is going to make you more confident and put you on top of your game, so you can have more financial gains. Um, 
I'm just getting uh, more more gains uh, all around. And when you look at your traditional deck with that Ten of Pentacles, you see the family in the background. You know, they got that beautiful home. You got the you got the the wifey, the kids, the grandpa in the background feeding the dogs. And that's what your person has been envisioning. Like, the, what a great family life you two would have if you got together. Because whatever they're in right now, it's a fucking nightmare. They're trying to get up out of it. They've been holding back their true feelings. And uh, now it's like the the it's it's the the. The truth is coming uh, coming out here. The Ten of Pentacles, you're finally manifesting that, that what you've been envisioning when it comes to this relationship, finally getting that dream relationship. Um, but that's what it has to do with that Ten of Pentacles. That's that's your person's vision. Like, oh, this is the perfect, this is a perfect home. This is the perfect family. Um, this is the life that we want to live. Um, you two are going to be manifesting that with that Ten of uh, Pentacles. Uh, it has to do with uh, yeah, long-term gains, long-term success, passing wealth down through the generations. Um but yeah, you two getting together, it's like they, they, your person sees that and you're like, oh, we could, we could, we could pass this, this success down to our children, our grandchildren. Um, you got the uh, Knave of Wands coming out here, um, which in traditional is the Page of Wands, a uh, very hot, passionate card. Uh, the, the Page is ruled by fire and desire, the Page of Wands. And um, this deck is represented by the Traveler. You see the man here. He's he's, uh, he's going to uh, many different places. You know, um, checking out the new sites, new uh, meeting new people, new uh, going. You know, meeting all the new cultures, trying all the new foods. Um, but yeah, this is how you may uh, you may meet your person through travel, or this person is going to be um, at a at a distance from you right now. But I see you traveling to see them, or them coming to see you. You two are going to be meet, meeting up from a distance. Um, because yes, it has to do with uh, meeting a, a lover through travel or through uh, through study. Um, so I, I see for many of you, you're um, studying different cultures, studying different nations, and you're going to be traveling, going out there, and you're going to be meeting this person. Um, but yeah, this person excites you. Like I said before, this person they they do they do some shit you're not currently doing with with this cycle that you've been stuck in. It's like it's like the same series of events over and over and over again. Like are you like are you serious? I can't. We're gonna, we're gonna sit at home and fucking eat popcorn and fucking and eat eat uh you know uh, chicken and fucking watch uh, Netflix all night again. You know whatever the fucking deal is. I, I'm seeing that it's the same routine that you're stuck in with this person that you've been with, uh, and you're about to be breaking up out of that. I, I see something uh, new, something exciting coming in. A lot of adventure here. Um, a lot of a lot of flavor, a lot of excitement. Uh, it's it's an adventure. Here. You're going to be traveling, trying new things, um, having new experiences with this person that you've never experienced before, and uh, this is it's going to be like everything's new to you with this person. I, I just see for many of you in the bedroom, it's like you're going to be trying some new positions. You know, if, if you if you never had somebody uh, test out your flexibility, this person be you know wrapping your ankle behind your head, fucking folding you up like a fucking uh, accordion, whipping out their hard cock, fucking smacking your clip, fucking stuffing it up in you, fucking. Uh, Holding you tight while they fucking thrust their, thrust their hard cock inside you. Like locking that position while they're skimming the cock inside you. Like tearing pussy up. Going up against one of these these buildings here. Like, what are you looking at? Get, get back. Get, mind your own business. You're over here smirking. I bet you. But you're like, that's what I see coming in for you. You're going to be uh, trying new things. Having been very adventurous. This, this person is going to bring out your adventurous side. Bring out your creative side as well. You just saw it earlier with that page of cups. So I, I see this person bringing out your creativity. Um, they really excite you. Eight of Swords, yeah. So your person, they feel stuck in a situation right now. Uh, for some of you, it's like your person's getting bullied by their partner. Like they're getting, they're getting picked on. You see the, the the giant here picking on a little man. I see for some of you, it's like your your partner. For some of you, is getting bullied or getting uh, getting like uh, feel like they're getting being used and abused by their person. Um, whatever the deal is, they're not happy in their current situation. They they feel they feel helpless. They feel stuck here. Um, with that Ace of Swords coming out, they've been trying to break up out of a negative cycle, um, but they don't see a way out of it currently. You know, when you look at your traditional deck with that woman with the Ace of Swords around her, she's she's in that she's in that trap with that blindfold and she's she's tied up. Uh, so somebody else, major person, feel inferior or major person feel like they they couldn't do anything about this situation. They're they're stuck. They're helpless. Um, they're weak. There's nothing they can do. Um, your person is going to find the courage. They're going to find the strength to come out of this because you saw it here earlier with the strength card um, representation of courage and, and having and having the, the 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 guts to be able to say, you know what, I don't want to be fucking stuck with your 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 whack ass anymore. I can't take this shit. Your person's finally going to be fucking uh, growing that background, putting their foot down, saying "fuck you," getting the fuck out of here. And you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna 
restore the relationship with somebody I actually want to be with with that page of cups coming out. So your person's gonna be walking the fuck away from this this situation where they felt inferior, they felt stuck in this situation. This this negative toxic cycle, they're gonna be breaking up out of it. Hey, excuse me, did I say that did I say the eight of swords? This is this is the nine of swords, excuse me. Um either way, the nine of swords has to do with uh with fears and doubts. So yeah, like I said before, your person has been having fears and doubts about moving forward um because they they feel stuck in their situation and they're fearing the worst is gonna happen if they leave. So very similar meaning. Um you got the magician card coming out here at the bottom of the deck. Uh, magician has to do with uh, making a game plan and sticking to it. So that's that's what I'm getting for you. Um that you need to make a game plan. When it comes to this relationship with your person, um, that way you can help get them up out of this situation where they feel like they're stuck here with this Nine of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Swords, it's a card that has to do with depression, sleepless nights, anxieties. Your person's been going through a lot of that. And I said it before, like your person was tossed in a turn, having to fake that headache um, to be able to um, get through the situation that they were in. You know, having to thought, pop, pop an Advil, I can't do it tonight. You know, I'm fucking, they were going to spit the pill out and fucking smash their face in the pillow, cry themselves to sleep, and it's just hope that it was it was going to be you they wake up to. Um, but that's just going to be happening here with the Magician card. Magician card is a very powerful card of manifestation. It's telling you that you're going to be um, putting some plans into action. If not, you need to make a plan and and uh, start uh, start taking some actions on this because you're able to manifest the relationship you want. You're able to make this work with your person here um, with, this, uh, with this coming out. And I'm also getting to, for many of you, you don't see your person has been trying to manifest you. Um, with this coming out the bottom deck, your person has been, uh, you know, uh, working their magic trying to make this thing happen. Um, they're very skilled. Your person is very talented, and uh, they they're they're very intelligent. Your person knows they know what's up. You saw the King of Swords earlier, so it's like your person is keen on what's going on with the situation. They're trying to make some changes here. For many of you, they're about to just cut this person out and come your way. There's communication that's coming in. There's there's clarity that's coming in, and uh, it's clear that your person. Is not wanting to be in this situation. That hangman, they feel stuck in this cycle. Uh, they've been holding back their true feelings for quite some time. Uh, they've been uh, dreaming of a, of a bright future with you here with that Ten of Pentacles. They've been dreaming of a beautiful family life, a, a long term success with you. They've been having some sleepless nights, some nightmares here with that Nine of Swords, some some anxiety, some pain um, that they've been currently experiencing. They they feel inferior. Like I said before, they, even though this is not the Eight of Swords, once again, your person has been made to feel inferior by whoever they're with. Um, like they're not good enough. Uh, but yeah, you two are going to be able to manifest this relationship. You have a very powerful uh, power manifestation that's working in your favor. Make a game plan. Execute it. And that's going to restore your relationship. You got the uh, ju uh, judgment card coming out here. The card that has to do with revival. Uh, bringing an old dead relationship back to life. Pumping new life into this thing. It's got a pulse again. You and your you and your person, it's like finally, you know that excite. Like I said, that excitement is coming back to your relationship. That thrill is coming back. You saw with the page of wands that that um, pop passionate sex is coming back alive. That adventure is coming back to your relationship. So you're gonna be trying new things, going new places, experiencing new things, and you're not gonna be stuck up in the same boring ass cycle that you've been in for quite some time. Um, you're getting commitment from this person as well. You saw it with the heart upon some of you are dealing with a sign of the Taurus. Um, you're getting long term commitment here, but this is a relationship you already started or you already tried to make this work with this person in the past. You have a history and you're restoring this relationship, you're bringing it back to life here. Um, you know, much like in your traditional, you see Angel, the angel Gabriel uh, blowing his trumpet, uh, calling those departed souls back for judgment, giving them a second chance in life for those that deserve it. And this person feels that you deserve a second chance or that they, they want to um, get back together with you. Or they want to try this thing again um, with that judgment card coming out. So your person's making that, that judgment call based off all the experiences you two went together or that you two went through. And they want to they want to restore this relationship with that judgment card coming out. Yeah, lower scar. Look at that. Um, for so I'm telling you, um, focus on what you want right now. I'm telling you, you're gonna be able to manifest this with your person. Um, this is a card that has to do with unity, partnership. Um, has to do with with a commonality. So you two have a lot in common. You two share a lot of ideas or share a lot of the same passions. Um, with this card coming out, you got, so your your ideas and your 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 desires those are a unifying factor. You both have a with a very similar desires. You both have a very strong sex drive. You both have a um, um, 
you both love adventure, you both love travel, you both love trying new things, um, you both get bored of the same positions or bored of the same shit happening over and over. So you both are going to understand each other. You both have, you have a mutual understanding for your person here. They, they understand you. And that's why you two are going to work this out. I see communication, if it was not good before, the reason it wasn't clear is because your person was stuck in a relationship they didn't want to be in. So when they break away from this and they actually start giving you some time and some energy and working with you, you two can build a better relationship. That's just going to be coming in for you too. And uh, for many of you, this is a soulmate or, or a twin flame, a very deep connection here. You see it coming out with the other, uh, um, the lover's card represents soulmates. You see Adam and Eve on your traditional deck, which uh, represents, you know, the book of Genesis. Um, Eve was made for Adam. You know, he was missing that companion. God made Eve for him. Uh, so for some of you, it's like this person feels like they're made for you. They feel like, you know, that missing piece where you're, you know, you're wandering around. Where's, where's my woman? Where's my person? You know, uh, you, you were feeling, you felt like something was missing until this person came into your life and it brought that, uh, that, that, that spark, that passion um, back, uh, back that you were missing from this, this boring ass stale relationship with that, uh, that hangman coming out. So breaking away from a boring old cycle, uh, reviving that passion, that thrill that's been missing, bringing that, that pulse back in your heart at that, that, uh, that uh, having your heart skipping a beat, getting you excited again about love. That's just going to be coming in with this person here. Uh, cancer. So get excited about that. Could be a Gemini as well. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Power of initiative. Uh, making that first move, you know, saying what, saying whatever it is that's on your mind, uh, just to break the ice here. Uh, the Ace of Swords is a card of a, a great power and great change coming in. So, like whatever whatever you're about to say to your person, like this this is this is these these words are powerful. These are going to be creating change for you here. Um, when you look at your traditional deck, it's it's a, a big hand emerging from a cloud, holding a holding a wielding a sword. Uh, with a crown on top and a wreath wrapped around it. Um, that wreath represents a uh, victory and that crown represents our uh, royalty and the power that comes with it. So this person wants to crown you. They want to give you the power uh, to, to be the shot caller or to be the man or the, you know, the, the, the woman in the relationship, whatever it is that, um, that your role is, they want to give you the power to play that role in the relationship. Um, the um, Ace of Swords has to do with, uh, with holding the upper hand. It's, it's, it's saying you hold the power to make change or to, to um, get your person up out of this situation where they feel stuck and uh, where they've been holding their true feelings, holding their true desires back. Um, but yeah, Ace of Swords is a card of great communication. It's a card of uh, cutting through all that bullshit, getting right to the heart of the matter when it comes to your person. And uh, that's, that's going to be happening here. That Ace of Swords um, is a card of an aha moment. So it's like you're gonna if you didn't know what to do to uh, remedy this situation or to work with your person before it's like you're gonna something's gonna click you're like oh they this is what I needed to say or this is what I needed to do to uh, to to restore this relationship here uh, with this uh, this uh, judgment card see look because look the judgment card has to do with uh, revival it has to do with a second chance and you have the uh, ace of swords here which has to do with a, with a new beginning new communication um, a new start coming in so these two go together. And for many of you, your person is giving you a second chance because of this communication, because of these this new communication that's coming in. But yeah, there it is again, the seven wands. Stand your ground, you're in the right, you're going to have success despite the fact you've been up against adversity or people, uh, all these naysayers um, trying to destroy this relationship or trying to talk down on you for, for getting with person. Like, oh, you already have somebody. And you're like, well, fucking, I'm fucking miserable. Like, what is what is the deal? You want me to be miserable or you want me to be stuck with somebody I don't want to be with? Like this. Then I got up earlier with the Ten of Wands. Like this is, this is a situation that feels oppressive. It just, it, it feels like it's really burning you. It's been weighing on you, this, this relationship. Been, uh, been depleting the, your life. Um, and you see here with that Nine of Swords, yeah, going through depression, uh, feeling feeling inferior, your person is um, with this Nine of Swords. They're in a situation that is, is not healthy, um, not good for them. Uh, so the Seven of Wands is telling you that you're going to have success with this person if you hang in there. You saw it earlier with the Hangman. It's like, you know, you, the, the opportunity is coming, but you need to be patient uh, for that moment to arise and get those, uh, get your, uh, fill your person's desires here that they've been holding back. Because, uh, yeah, they see long-term success. You saw it here with the Ten of uh, Pentacles coming out. They, they've been envisioning that uh, successful future, that, that beautiful home, that uh, beautiful family. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of money is going to be coming in as well.
But yeah, this is a relationship. It's going to be stable. If you're dealing, if you've been dealing with somebody that has been flaky or inconsistent, or if this person has been that way, like I see that changing or them um, becoming more involved. Because you have the heart upon here, your person's gonna be showing you strong support. Uh, this relationship is gonna gain, uh, you know, uh, be more stable with this coming out. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be done with this deck. I'm gonna get you some uh, some um, added cards here from the uh, Heart of Tarot deck. But yeah, Cancer, you're going to be getting a a much better relationship coming in here. You got you got a surprise message from that Knave of Cups. This person's a big admirer of yours. They love your ability. Like I said, they love you for your personality. Like this person loves that you're creative. They love that you have you have a wild imagination. You come up with like a lot of great ideas. They love your energy. Um, you two share a lot of the same passions. You have a lot in common. You saw with the lover's card coming out. It's like you two um, share a lot of uh, a lot of similar interests. You two work together well because you're passionate about the same things, and that's why your person's trying to break up out of that shit that they're in now. It's like this, this, whatever, whatever your other person, their person's into. They they they're not into that shit. They're like, man, I feel fucking, I feel bored as hell. I feel stuck here. Um, yeah, your person feels like you know that they're they're inferior. Like I said before, they're they're going through a depression right now with that nine of swords, having some sleepless nights, tossing and turning, having a having a fake like they're having a stomach ache or something because because they're they don't want to have sex. Sex is boring. Like, oh, I'm still having those cramps from uh you know that. And that terrible fucking dinner you made, you know, you, you, don't, you, don't, you know, they don't even know how to fucking cook. Their stomach's all fucked up because they, their, their person don't know how to cook right. Um, you got another Ace of Swords coming out. So again, like I said, communication is about to be, become uh, excellent between you two. If there's been um, a lack of communication or you two have just uh, not been on the same page, that's about to change. Um, the lover's card is the same thing. It represents communication. But this one here is this is communication that's going to cause a, a new beginning or a new start here with this coming in. Now, for many of you, this is a subject you haven't uh, touched on before. You haven't talked about this. Um, but yeah, the Ace of Swords is letting you know that um, when you when you bring this up, this is going to bring, uh, this is going to make some big changes in your relationship. Um, this is going to, the card of great force and great change. Uh, card of great power and positivity. This is a stacked card. So, I mean, I could, I could talk about so many elements that go into the Ace of uh the Ace of Swords, but I will let you know it's a card of a victorious struggle. It's letting you know you're having success with your person. They want to crown you here. They want to be with you. And uh, this is a new beginning coming in with that Ace of Swords. So you're realizing what you need to say, what you need to do, and restoring your relationship here. You got the Seven of Swords coming out at the bottom of the deck. Um, this this card actually denotes hope. You see it here with the, the the light at the end of the tunnel here. So it's saying to keep the hope, keep uh, keep the faith in your relationship that um, better times are ahead and you will have success with your person. Um, now remember, in your traditional deck with the Seven of Swords, it's it's a man walking away um, with Five of the Swords. It's the, it's the thief, somebody who's uh, who's sneaky, who, uh, that sleazy trickster who's up to no good. Um, so. I'm seeing for many of you, that's what's been fucking up communication, or that's what's been fucking up this new start for you, for you two making this move, is some um, some sleaze bag in the background talking a bunch of mess about you and your person with the Seven of Swords, somebody who's very jealous and very spiteful. Um, they're trying to uh, sabotage or ruin your connection. Don't let this happen. This this is this is very petty. You two are going to be able to move past this, and I said it earlier with the Nine of Swords, like your person's having fears and doubts because somebody's feeding them a bunch of bullshit. Uh, with the seven of swords somebody's dispensing bad advice or in their ear saying oh yeah this person they're they're not going to be what they what they're cracked up to be or you know you're better off just being stuck with me with this terrible sex and not being able to leave the house or whatever you know but that's about to change with that name of what wants coming out you have a, a lot of passion a lot of good sex coming in you have adventure coming in so you're going to be traveling you're going to be trying new things um, this relationship you're about to go into is about to be very exciting. So this this is definitely something you you want to take that initiative or, or um, reach out to your person here with that Ace of Swords. Um, when you get that idea, act on it. You know, when you have these good ideas coming, make sure you act on them.
But yeah, there's been a lot of gossip and rumors, a lot of hearsay that's been uh, holding you two back from actually getting together and making this thing work. But like I said, this message is coming through loud and clear. Whatever your person's about to say to you, you're like, oh shit, like I, 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 I see where you're coming from now, or I see what, what's actually going on with your situation. Uh, so clarity's coming in. You're restoring hope in your relationship. You see the star card coming out here. Um, restoring hope and, and a lot of good things here for your relationship. Um, star card is a positive omen. So it's it's letting you know that there's, uh, there's good things coming. You're going to manifest what you want. This is a card of a, a prayer. Uh, a prayer being answered, a wish being granted. So that's what's going to be coming in for you here. This this is a, this is a no action card. So you know that uh, good things are on the way to you. Uh, for many of you, this is a this is a divinely guided connection. These these uh, stars represent connection to the divine, and uh, the North Star here is that guiding light. So you're going to be guided on what you need to do or what you need to say in this relationship. Um, I see the, a flow being restored here. You, this, this represents sign of the Aquarius. So for some of you are dealing with an Aquarian. Uh, who pours forth his creativity. Your creativity is going to help restore this relationship. You saw earlier with the Page of Wands, your wild imagination, your creative abilities, your person loves this about you. Using your creativity and your imagination is what's going to restore this relationship. Um, your person loves that. And it's like you do have a very deep connection because of this. You do are able to have deep conversations. You do have a natural flow um, in this relationship. And that's going to be restored here once this ace comes in, that brand new communication, that brand new start. Um, great force, great change. A person wants to crown you. They want to choose you. A victorious struggle. Um, you two are going to overcome these fears and doubts. You're going to overcome uh, this this depression and these tough times. You're going to overcome this uh, the situation your person feels stuck in that they can't get out of. You know they're not going to hold back their desires forever. They want to have success. They see long term gains, long term success coming in. And you know you you want stability. You're about to get it. You got the harp on here. For some of you, are dealing with sign of the Taurus, but that's going to let you know you have a stay, uh, stable, long-term relationship that's going to be coming in, and uh, long-term uh, gains with uh, your uh, financial situation as well. You see it here: the, uh, the King of Pentacles, a man on top of his game, a man of affluence, um, financial stability, financial freedom. For some of you, you're finally able to go out. You're finally able to travel. You saw the neighbor wants. For some of you, you're finally going to be able to have the money and the means to travel and to go see your person or to go um, go to new, some new places. And you know, it's like there you are running into your person. Um, so this is an excellent reading when it comes to love and just, just how many opportunities you're going to have and just... Um, how much this person loves you? For some of you, like I said, it's just it's a missing piece. It's a soulmate. Uh, you know, you got the the lover's card coming out, and you just just so many cards here that represent love, and then just a, a lot of passion and, and good things coming in. You know, you got the uh, the star card coming out here, which uh, denotes uh, it's uh, a card of um, a positive omen. Excellent card to get in a reading. But yeah, you, the main things here are very petty. You saw with the seven of wands, you're going to be overcoming people that are jealous and spiteful, people that want to be you. Uh, but a lot of people are going to want to be in your position because they see you having success, because they see you getting what you want. You have the power to travel. And you got the, for many, this is the love of your life coming in with that uh, Page of Cups. This is somebody who's a big admirer of yours. And you saw it with that uh, lover's card again. Um, soulmates, passion, you know, uh, that 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 thrill is being restored in your relationship. Uh, you know, the, the card also has to do with unity. And, uh, and it's it has to do with unity through, um, through passion and through uh, your... Um, through shared passions. I'm getting you to share the same passions. You're into a lot of the same things. And that's what's going to help uh, bring this relationship back together. You know, like I said, for many of you, you're both into travel. You're both into trying new things. Um, whatever it might be, this you two are coming back together here. Restoring this relationship. Uh, communication is improving vastly. You see it here with the Ace of Swords. You saw it earlier with the King of Swords coming out of the bottom of the deck. Um gaining clarity on what's going on in your person's situation and long-term stability from for some of you, your person's going to propose to you they're going to you're going to go to zales you're going to bust out that diamond crown, uh, encrusted ring like and bend the knee get down on that knee and say you know what you know, I, I couldn't live without you i tried living with this this boring ass um relationship committing to this person where the, the sex was terrible they had me uh falling asleep uh you know they they having having a fake like I had a, had a tummy ache and I was, I was over there you know curled up in a ball crying myself to sleep because I wished I was wishing it was you and now that wish is finally granted with that uh that star card coming out now here you are uh, now now here's that new beginning 
that ace of swords coming in. Here's our victory. We've overcome the, the struggle, overcome the difficulty. Um, breathe new life into this situation with judgment card out, but we're sustaining this thing, dragging this thing out of the cold dead waters. But breathe new life in it, fucking pumping, pumping some life into this thing. Finally, you know, it's got a pulse again. Finally, finally, my heart's my heart's beating. You know, my heart's my heart's fucking pounding into my chest. And my heart's skipping a beat. I got those steel, steel butterflies swirling around in my belly. And I'm excited to, to finally be getting back together with you. We're finally uh, making this thing happen with you. So um uh, I couldn't live without you. But yeah, for many of you, that's just come that's just gonna be coming in. That's gonna be your reading. That's gonna be reading cancer and get you added message to the money law of attraction cards. But yeah, cancer. Like I said, it, it all starts with you gaining your own uh stability, gaining your own confidence. You got the uh, the king of pentacles here, a man on top of his game. Uh, so you're going to be doing very, uh, having a lot of success with your business or just success in general. You're just going to be very confident and people are going to be coming to you for advice. Your person here, they're going to be coming to you. That page of cups, they're, they're going to surprise you. Some of you a surprise phone call, surprise invitation. And for those of you there, this person could just pull right up to your place. But they've been feeling stuck in this situation with the hangman. Now they're finally going to be acting on those desires here with that uh, that strength card coming out. Finally finding the courage to break up out of that boring relationship and then make this move. And then when they do, um, like I said, that's, it's going to restore once you once had. Uh, give you that second chance to revive this thing. Breathe new life to this relationship. It's going to restore hope. Um, but yeah, you inspire your person too. They they love your creative ability. They... they, they uh, they're they're wild by you. Your person is wild. Uh, communication is about to improve with that ace sword. New communication, new ideas. With that page of wands, you're gonna be going to new places. So lots of travel is gonna be coming in. And the card that I got for you, Cancer, is whatever I desire, I can acquire. Whatever I desire, I can acquire. And I'll read the message on the back for you. It says, The eternal laws of the universe steadily hold the promise of expansion and joy. And understanding the laws will reawaken within you the knowledge of your purpose and your own personal power as you remember how to access the power of the universe that creates worlds. If this time-space reality has, within it, has the ability to inspire desire within you, it is absolute this time-space reality has the ability to you do a full and satisfying manifestation of that same desire, it is law. It is law. And that's exactly what's gonna be happening for you here. You got this, you got this desire within you to be with your person. You got your person got this desire within them to be with you. Look, they've been holding it back for a while here with that strength card, but I've been turning inside. Oh, I can't wait to get the fuck up out of this, this lifeless ass, boring connection that I've been stuck up in. So I, I can bring my passion back to life, reignite that 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 spark within me that I once had. You know, so I could, I could uh, that that dream could come into fruition. I could have that long term success. Uh, you know, the my, my my prayers could be answered here. We we get together finally. You know, and uh, and and once again, you know, uh, uh, reconnect with my my be that beautiful energy. This has to do with reconnecting with chakras here. You see, these are the, these seven stars here representing the seven chakras in the body. For so many, of you, you're going to be realigned energetically. You're going to be feeling confident on top of your game again with that King of Pentacles coming out, feeling very beautiful, very sexy. I'm um, not afraid to show off your body off. For many of you see the uh, the uh, star card here exposing your perky, beautiful titties. You know, and the person's not, not afraid to exp expose themselves anymore, expose the truth. For many of you, communication coming in. You know, your person's not afraid to, they got nothing to hide anymore. They're not holding anything back. And communication is about to improve for you. You're about to gain clarity, um, about to revive this relationship with that judgment card, um, getting your person out of a depressing relationship with that nine of swords. They're, they're dealing with a, you know, depression, anxiety, other worry, you know, having sleepless nights. Uh, your person is not feeling good about that current situation. So you're going to get them to the fuck up out of there and restore that stability in their love life, bring it, reignite that passion, that thrill. And uh, there it is. You have that uh, harp on commitment. So commitment for many of you, something that's going to be long-term, long-lasting, uh, lots of success. So that's what's going to be coming in for you here. Cancer, that's going to be a reading. Hope you enjoy that. I know I enjoyed doing it for you. If it resonates with you, make sure you hit that like button. A lot of cancers out there to be abused mess for their love life. So them the whole cancer and communities. Put that good energy out there for them. Put it out there for yourself. If it's your first time here. Make sure it's not your last time here. Subscribe to the channel. 
Click on that little notification bell so you can notify when a review comes out. You do not want to miss it. And you don't want to miss your chance. Help us grow here. Final Effect Tarot by donating. You can donate to my cash app, my PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information. It looks like a book of personal reading if this resonates with you. We'll be including that description box below this video. So you can do that down there. I want to say thank you so much for doing that down there. Thank you for your comments, likes, and subscriptions, all that good stuff on the channel. I know I can't see you on live right now. I'm really missing that I can't do this on live right now. Hopefully on Saturday we got things back up and running like they normally do so we can, we can get, uh, get back on live. But um, I want to thank you so much for, for understanding uh, and being patient today, uh, Cancer, that we had to do it this way. Uh, thank you so much. Um, love the support from the cancers. I'm getting every single week. Keep the support coming. I see. I see a lot of growth in this channel from the cancers. I've been seeing, you know, more subscriptions, more, more views, more, uh, more likes from cancers, uh, week in and week out. So I want to see that continue to grow for you. See that community, uh, cancer community continue to build. Um, and, and continue showing that love, cancer. Uh, again, I want to say thank you so much. God bless you, and y'all enjoy your night.